Hey guys, happy Sunday morning. Today I'm going to show you how to make your own homemade coffee from completely store-bought items. Sorry, I'm trying to pick up some of these chips that are on my floor. Because my son yesterday, I was on the phone with my dad, I forgot to shut the gate for the kitchen. And he got into a bunch of crap. So, yeah. How to... <sighs> okay. Good enough for now. So, first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna, I'm gonna pick these up too so I don't keep getting stepped on. These are for work. Okay. Oh, and there's some heavy armor. Okay, so step one, you need to find a cup. So I'm gonna set you guys down. Okay. I don't know why this floor is what it should be, but today's cup is gonna be this one. I have different coffees I can use. I have one coffee that's completely full, one coffee that's almost gone. I'm trying to see how much that goes up. Of the almost gone coffee first. Actually, whoops, wrong one. So I might need more coffee. So step number one. So after you get the cup, you're going to need Whatever sauce you'd like. I'm going to be using this blackberry sauce. And you're going to coat you can do it aesthetically. This glass. I'm not very good at this. With the sauce. So there's how mine looks. It's not very aesthetically pleasing, but sure. Usually most people use like caramel or something. Then I'm going to put in the rest of my open coffee, which is the Caramel Delight iced coffee. You can use, if you have like, if you made a pot of coffee the day before and have some left over, if you have... Needs to be shaken up, sorry. Pre made coffee, like I do. Whatever. As long as you're not making it yourself. So that only filled up about that much. So I'm going to add some of this caramel macchiato. Now, you don't want the glass all the way full. You want it probably about that full. So, I have two other ingredients. So, and this is also a good way to use stuff up if you have stuff that's open in your fridge that you want to use. Because, honestly, 
I'm doing this thing this year where I'm trying to not waste so much leftovers. So far, I've only wasted a little less than half a salad that I had. That was a salad kit. I ate, we went and got Chinese. I ate all those leftovers. We got, I went out with Kelsey the one night, ate those leftovers. I ate, we had pasta. The kids actually ate most of those leftovers for me. Big kids. So, anyways. So now you're going to take whatever international, whatever creamer you have. This is chocolate caramel. You're going to pour just a splash in there. Then, you're going to get this International Delight Cold Foam Creamer. It says, with cap on, shake for a few seconds, add as much cold foam, and sip it. So I'm going to pour this in there. And yes, I'm going to go throw this garbage away after the fact. So you're going to fill that almost to the top, not quite. Oh, that tastes good. This is probably not good for you. Well, it only has three grams of sugar, which isn't terrible. Because my creamer... Has five grams of sugar, so that's not terrible. Then you're going to get whatever... whipped cream you like. I'm using this chocolate flavored dairy whipped topping. And you're going to put some of that in there. Sorry, I have to read the thing. You're going to put in your whipped cream. Then you're going to take your sauce from earlier. And you're going to do an aesthetic little drizzle on top. Now, if you're looking for a healthy coffee, baby, this ain't it. By no means is this healthy. Just in that and that alone. It only has one gram of sugar. Just between these two things, there's four grams. This is another five grams, plus whatever's in the coffee. Plus the 19 grams of sugar in here. So. Then the last step, piece de resistance. You're gonna use a straw. So good. And that is how you make a homemade coffee out of completely store bought ingredients. The thing that you had to make yourself. But I'm going to go and I will catch you on the flip side. Bye, guys.